Hey guys, Running Kimono here. So it is uh, Sunday, the 3rd of May of 2020. Uh, before we dive into the deals, I'm hosting a very tiny giveaway. I posted a video yesterday with all of the details, but to add an extra something to this giveaway, I found two masks. They are sealed. Um, they are not like the N95 or like the high-end mask. It's just something to put over your face. I bought these well over a month ago on eBay. I bought a bunch of masks and um, I have two. So I'm going to put one in each um, bundle of coupons. Uh, a very generous subscriber uh, sent me a package yesterday. And since I'm in Michigan and we are, you know, <laughs> lockdown 17, um, unfortunately, I can't use most of these coupons, but I wanted to do something special for you guys because I know this is a very difficult time for a lot of us and purchasing uh, the weekend newspaper to get coupons is probably not high on the list. Again, special thank you to John for being so generous. Um, and I'm going to include in each bundle one mask. So good luck, guys. And I will be picking the winners uh, this evening. How exciting is that? Okay, so let's talk about uh, this video. It is to use these uh, coupons and not every account gets it. Sorry, guys. So the ones that I would specifically load is the 5 off of 20, the 5 off of 12, and the 5 off of 15. The 3 off of 15, well, you're going to be paying an extra $2. And you have to use all of these in separate transactions. You can't buy a basket of $40 and expect everything to come off. So the ones that I specifically loaded is the 5 off of 20, the 5 off of 12, and the 5 off of 15. I want to be in and out of the store. I don't want to be there for, you know, an hour doing transactions. So I might have to break this up into two days or just maybe do two um, but I have to do these before the beauty event on Thursday because I don't want these to mess up my um, beauty boosters uh, and we're going to talk about that in a quick second and um, these digitals um, are also of a one-time use just to note that um, and it's always the small smallest to largest that comes off first so um that's just the way the old cookie crumbles. Now, because one of them is a basket of $12, if you buy $12 on the nose, that one will come off first. But if you're buying a $15 basket, that three off of 15 will come off like as the first one um, once you hit that $15 mark. So just to show you the first, the second, the third, and the fourth, and this has to be done in four separate transactions. They don't stack and treat it like a Walgreens IBC coupon. It's a store coupon. So, um, you know, if you're trying to use it on an offer, like, you know, spend 20, get back 10,000, you might be short. Um, and for these sort of boosters, which is like totally outside of the box, yes, you can use points to pay down the balance. Um, so add an extra wrench of confusion. And again, can't stress it enough, guys, they are a one-time use. So even if they still appear on your store card, uh, they are a one and done. So on Thursday, this is going to be taking place, which is spend 25, get 7,000. So if you were trying to use one of those with this, you'd have to buy $30 to do both successfully. So as you can see, it's already like extra confusing because it's like you're having a $5 IBC on your basket. So I would try to use them before Thursday um, and just do this beauty one completely on its own. And this was showing up, I believe, last Friday and not every store account got it. And if you haven't been shopping, you probably didn't receive it because I didn't even get it. Now, looking at this, um, I'm going to try to work a deal with that beauty booster in concert with this specific board, which is spend 25, get 5,000. Um, obviously, with these other coupons, like a 5 off of 15 or a 5 off of 12, um, this would really bring down the basket with those special coupons because that's like, again, a Walgreens coupon and you can't get to 25 unless you would buy 30. Hopefully that's like making some sense. Okay, so let's go back and just take a quick peek at this. So this is valid right up until the 9th, uh, which is the Saturday. And let's just look at this one, for example. So this is a 5 off of 15 off of a multi-brand purchase. Now, I know a lot of us, our pantries are looking pretty empty uh, two months into this lockdown. Say you wanted to buy exactly $15 on the nose of food. Hey, 
that's absolutely going to work. Now, looking at this little uh, picture here, uh, those DiGiorno pizzas are 10. The spam is two for five. Hey, grab two of each. You're right at 15 bucks. See how easy that is? So subtracting that five off of 15 coupon, guys, your new total is $10. Hey, if I had 10,000 points on my store card, I would use that. In Michigan, we don't pay tax for food. I would just grab my stuff and walk out like a champ. So that's how it works. Pretty easy peasy. So the first deal that we're going to look at is the five off of 12. So you need this loaded to your store card. And sorry if this is somewhat monotonous uh, for more experienced shoppers, but we're just doing this uh, line by line because this hasn't shown up in a, in a bit doing this many in one, you know, like three consecutive. So that's why we're just taking it very slow. Okay, so we're going to be grabbing... Um, some some makeup for this one eight dollar register reward when you spend 10 bucks like hi that's really awesome so as you can see the revlon concealer is 1079 and guess what guys this coupon did not expire but it's expiring today so you'll have to do this today which is the third it's a two dollar coupon off of a revlon face and uh we have a box of frosted flakes or pop tarts for a buck 99 and there's also a 50 cent coupon uh, that showed up this morning for this guy. So there it is. So it's either um, a box of cereal or pop tarts, like whatever you want. So looking at the math, guys, here it is. Uh, grabbing one of the Revlon concealers for $10.79. A box of Kellogg's cereal for $1.99. So your total right there is $12.78. That five off of 12 Walgreens coupons coming off, along with $2.50 of manufacturers. $2 for Revlon, $0.50 cent for the Kellogg's. You're left with a total now of $5.28. Now, I would use 5,000 points to pay this down. I'm getting back an $8 register reward from Revlon, so it makes my basket free plus a $2.72 money maker. So if you can get out there today and safely do this deal, I would absolutely do it because this is fantastic. Now, deal number two, we're going to look at the um, five off of 15. So of course you need this guy uh, loaded to your store card. We're going to grab pretty much everything in the same basket, but we're also going to throw in one of these arm and hammers. And then we also need this dollar coupon that appeared this morning. So the exact same math with the exception of that extra arm and hammer for $2.99. So our total is $15.77 on the nose. We have a five off of 15 Walgreens coupon that's coming off along with $3.50 of manufacturer coupons. We have the $2 for the Revlon, the 50 center for Kellogg's, and the dollar for the Arm & Hammer. So you're left with a total of $7.27. Um, you're getting back an $8 registered reward, making your basket free, plus a $0.73 cent money maker. Now at the $7.27 mark, if you wish to use 5,000 points and then to pay down the balance, you can also do that, or you could just pay the $7.27 out of pocket. So that's really your choice, but another excellent basket, um, you know, $0.73 cent money maker. I love that. Okay, so looking at the next deal, we're going to be using a 5 off of 15. So here it is for multi-brand. And we're going to be grabbing two of these Maybelline mascaras for $8.99 on a buy one, get one 50% off. And we have this wonderful coupon that showed up uh, last weekend. Now, if you want to hang on to this uh, for Thursday onwards, don't do this deal. Just save that coupon and uh, do a deal that has nothing to do with cosmetics or the Revlon one because that coupon is expiring today. So we're also going to be grabbing for this basket one of these old-fashioned Arm & Hammers for $2.99. And we have this dollar coupon also um, there. Okay, so here's the math, guys. Two of those um, Maybelline mascaras is $13.48. And then one of the Arm & Hammer for $2.99. So your total here is $16.47. Subtracting that 5 off of 15 Walgreens coupon and $11 of digital manufacturers. We have the $10 for the Maybelline and the dollar for the Arm & Hammer. You're left with paying $0.47 cents plus tax for this. Like... <laughs> Hi, how are you? This is kind of awesome. And this is extreme couponing and just a fantastic deal. Again, if you're apprehensive and you want to save that uh, 10 off a of two Maybelline uh, coupon for later in the week, I would go with another basket uh, deal because that coupon is going to be absolute fire um, for the, um, you know, spend 25, um, get 7,000 points that's taking place Thursday to Saturday.
Okay, guys, so just to look at this basket in a different way. So either this one or the five off of 12, um, either or will come off uh, for this basket. We're still grabbing those Maybellines and then we're grabbing three of these bags, um, the trash bags, sandwich bags, whichever you wish, or a mix of them. And it's $2.79 for the first and two of them will be free. Okay, so looking at the math again, two of those Maybelline mascaras, that's $13.48. And then three of those um, Walgreens sandwich bags, trash bags, uh, $2.79 on a buy one, get two for free promotion. So the total for all of this is $16.27, subtracting the five off a of 12 coupon and $10 um, of manufacturer coupons. You're left with paying $1.27. If you wish to use a dollar of points, hey, go for it. You'll pay 27 cents plus tax. Two beautiful mascaras and some sandwich bags for your cooking or prep or whatever you use it for. I mean, this is just a fantastic little deal. Okay, guys, next deal that we have, it's an either or the um, five off of 12 or the five off of 15. So um, you can use either one of these coupons for this deal. So what we're going to be grabbing for this one is um, one of these fancy razors and $2 coupon showed up this morning. Here's my $2 one for the ladies Venus. And then we're going to be grabbing two Oral-B toothbrushes and they are $3.99 a pop. Buy two, get 4,000 points. And we have a five off a of two coupon um, for this product that's attaching. Here's the math, guys. One of those Venus razors for $9.99. And then two of the Oral-B toothbrushes at $3.99 a pop is $7.98. So your total for your basket here is $17.97. So the five off a of 12 or five off a of 15 is coming off at this time, along with $7 of digital manufacturers. The five for the brushes and the two for the razor. You're left with paying $5.97 out of pocket, getting back a $4 register reward for your razor, and then 4,000 points for the purchase of those two toothbrushes. So it makes this basket free, plus a $2.03 money maker. Now, when you are at that $5.97 point, if you wish to use 5,000 points to pay down your balance and pay 97 cents plus tax, you can absolutely go for that. So you're paying the least out of pocket if you have the store points on your card. Okay, guys, deal number six again. Um, this one is with this guy, which is the five off of 20. So we're buying a larger basket here. So we're going to be grabbing two of the Old Spice deodorants. They're two for ten, four dollar register reward when you buy two. We're going to be using this coupon, which is a four off a of two. Now, now a lot of you were asking questions in the comments that if you bought, you know, four and tried to use that eight off a of four, would two four dollar register rewards print? And the answer to that is no, because a register reward will only print one per the item that you're buying per transaction. So I think the last time that actually worked was at Kroger in 2013, but Catalina has since stopped that. So you have, you will only be rewarded one register reward per transaction, and that's just how it works. I have a video in the notes called New to Walgreens. If you want more information on how the register reward Catalina machine works, please check it out. The link for that is in the notes. And for this basket, we're also grabbing two of the Russell Stouffer's candy for $4.99 a pop, $5 register reward when you buy two, and hey, guess what showed up this morning? This wonderful dollar off two manufacturer coupon. How great is that? So let's look at the math, guys. Two of the Russell Stouffer's candy, that's $9.98. Two of the Old Spice deodorants is $10. We are two cents short from hitting that $20 mark. At checkout, grab a 33 cent candy, something really inexpensive. So the new total is $20.31, subtracting that five off a of 20 Walgreens coupon and the $5 of manufacturers that include the $4 for the Old Spice and the dollar off two for the Russell Stouffer's. You're left with a total of $10.31. You're getting back a $5 register reward for the, um, the Russell Stouffer's uh, candy and then a $4 register reward from Old Spice. So the final total here is $1.31 for the four or 32 cents per product. Okay, so deal number seven, um, we're gonna be using this guy, um, which is a five off of 15. And we're gonna be grabbing two bags of the Huggies. And there was a three off of two digital coupon that showed up. 
Unfortunately, uh, the website was at a crawl this morning. I think a lot of people are putting in online orders. So um, I couldn't even get a screen capture of that coupon for you guys. Sorry in advance. So here's the math for this. Uh, two box or two bags of that, pardon me, is 18. Subtracting the three off of two, we're down to 15 on the nose. Subtracting that five off of 15 Walgreens coupon, well, you're now at a balance of 10. You know what I would do? I would use 10,000 points to pay down the balance and pay tax for this. Um, a diaper is a disposable item, and I'm sure a lot of parents out there are just irritated to always have to buy these for something that legit goes in the in the in the bin. So, um, you know, that's probably the smartest way to do it. And if I had uh, toddlers or babies in diapers, I would be using all of these boosters to do some variation on a diaper deal because that would be the best use for online deals this week. Um, online, I just cruised around a little bit to let you guys know. Um, a lot of stock is out of stock, so it's really hard to make these deals happen. Um, so if you are going in store, be safe, shop off peak hours. Um, you know, obviously wear a mask, gloves, be safe out there. Um, definitely the best way to see if the store is busy or really full is definitely the old um, parking lot trick. If there's just only a couple cars, you probably know it's a safe time to go shopping. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.